All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy, love one and hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Now, Roly Romero has finally broke his silence since the devastating KO to Isaac Cruz. And yes, I said devastating because Roly was knocked out on his feet. He could barely even do a post fight interview. But it's a good thing. At least we hear some words from Roly. Now in this video, I want to discuss what's next from Roly after I play you guys these words from Roly Romero. You guys can read it yourself. But he basically gave credit to Isaac Cruz and discussed a little bit about what's next. And also, you know what? I'm going to just let you guys go ahead and read it yourself. I'm going to play you guys the instrumental while you go ahead and read these words from Roly Romero. If you already seen the words, just go ahead and fast forward the video. I'll put the time mark. That way you can hear me talk my shit towards the end. So go ahead and read these words from Roly Romero himself. Then I'm going to come back and talk my shit. Roly and as fans we gotta stop doing that y'all Roly put up a great effort and one thing about Roly whenever this man fights is entertaining the period inside and outside the ring that's why I personally feel like Roly can still make a lot of money in the sport of boxing because he's an entertaining character plus people just like to see Roly get beat up for some reason and that's because Roly talk a lot of shit he likes to play the asshole character. Well, I won't really say an asshole character, but he underestimates his opponents a whole lot. Not to the point where it's like he don't train because you could tell Roly trains very hard for his fights, but he underestimates them in a sense where it's like he knows he's not going to lose. Like he just knows he's going to come in this ring and just knock you the fuck out. Even against elite competition. So, in my opinion, Roly is still a prize fighter. Everybody knows who Roly is. So, that's one thing we can't take away from Roly. It's his popularity. So, him being able to get a fight. It's not going to be hard, not one bit. In fact, it's going to be real simple. Because a lot of people are just going to use Roly as a name on their resume. Not like it's a big name, but it's a perfect way to get popularity and Roly is still with Floyd Mayweather I'm quite sure Floyd Mayweather is still gonna send him some checks so little Roly Polioli gonna be all right man he's just strictly a gatekeeper in my opinion like literally if you cannot beat Rolando Romero you need to just retire boxing forget going down to 135 or going up to 147 quit the sport if you cannot beat Roly Romero it is what it is. Now, I will say this because Roly, believe it or not, he looked good yesterday in spurts. Roly looked quick. He even showed the ability to run last night. And we all know Roly cannot fight off the back foot. But, like I said in spurts, Roly looked good. He was counter-punching at times. He was going to the body. 
He was showing some good foot movement. I mean, Roly just got a bad chin, man. I hate to say it, man, but Roly has no chin. As soon as Isaac Cruz touched Roly, he started dancing all around the fucking ring. And I was just like, God damn, Roly, what's the deal with that chin? So, if you think about it, Roly has a little power. I think Roly power, I think we could say it's a little overrated now. Because he hasn't knocked out no good fighter. I mean, a very good fighter. I think the closest fighter he knocked out to being a decent fighter was when he fought that kid. What's his name? I think it's Anthony Wajit. That's the only decent fighter Roley has knocked out. He has not knocked out any top tier fighters. And I'm not even just saying knock him out. At least hurt him badly. You got to show us you got some power on the top level. Like one thing about Deontay Wilder, people used to always say Deontay Wilder only knocked out bums. But Deontay Wilder has shown his power against elite fighters or top fighters, I should say. Luis Ortiz was top three in the first fight when they fought. And he hurt Tyson Fury multiple times. Some people think he did knock out Tyson Fury. But when it comes down to Roley, he hasn't shown that. His chance to do that was against Tank and Pitbull Cruz. We're not going to even count Ground Pop but also because there was some controversy in that fight. Now let's say he would have knocked down or even hurt one of these top fighters. Then we could say, hmm, it don't really matter if he got knocked out. We know Roley got that power. Now to be fair, Roley do got power. Trust me, Isaac Cruz was feeling those punches. Just like Tank said, and he's right about that. But you got to start knocking down these guys or hurting these guys or knocking them out, Roly. Because that's your claim to fame. You're supposed to be this big power puncher, right? Knocking out everybody in the Mayweather gym at once upon a time. But we ain't seen it. But like I said, little Roly Poly going to be all right. In my opinion, his next fight should be against, you know, a lower level fighter. Give one of these young bucks a chance. It's all type of young bucks out here who can prove themselves against Lil Roly Polioli. So with that being said, y'all, I think Mayweather is going to hook up Roly with a decent comeback fight. Maybe against somebody who don't punch that hard. Because anybody that punches hard, Roly is just food. And he reminds me of Amir Khan. You can make some real money with Roly, but he don't got a chin. It is what it is. But you put Amir Khan against somebody that can't punch and they ass is grass. That's the type of fighter Roly Romero is at this point in his career. That's my thoughts on this shit. I am.